Think about this. The bustling city of Miami buzzes with over 470,000 people, yet the entire state of Wyoming has even fewer folks calling it home. It's a curious fact, isn't it? Wide open spaces, skies that stretch forever, and towns where everyone knows your name. These are the hidden slices of America where life moves at a different pace. We're on a quest to find out why these 10 spacious states, with room to roam and air to breathe, are not packed with people. Is it the whisper of the wind over the plains, the solitude of the mountains, or the simple joy of a quieter life that keeps the crowds away? Let's take a walk on the quieter side of America, where the hustle is hushed and the living is easy. Why are these 10 states so sparsely populated? The answer might just surprise you. Well, my name is Sean, and welcome to Best Blocks. So let's get started. Number 10, New Hampshire, the Granite State rounds out our list as the 10th least populated state in the U.S. Despite its small size, New Hampshire is known for its vibrant autumn foliage, scenic mountains, and a strong sense of independence, encapsulated by its motto, live free or die. But what factors contribute to its relatively low population? Economically, New Hampshire enjoys a strong job market with a diverse mix of industries, including healthcare, education, and manufacturing. The state's economy expanded at a 4.5 rate during the third quarter of last year, close to the national average. However, New Hampshire faces challenges such as a tight labor market and slower population growth, partly due to an aging population and the outmigration of younger residents seeking broader opportunities. Culturally, New Hampshire boasts a high quality of life and is known for its natural beauty, which includes mountains, forests, lakes, and beaches within close proximity. The state values individual freedoms and has a mobile population, with many residents having moved from other states, particularly Massachusetts. Migration has been a significant factor in the state's demographic changes, bringing in an influx of better educated, higher income residents, which increases the state's human capital. Despite these positive aspects, New Hampshire's population growth has been one of the slowest in the country, at just 0.16, ranking 45th in the nation. This slow growth is attributed to more deaths than births and a changing trend in migration, with fewer families moving from other parts of the country compared to previous years. Number nine, Maine, often referred to as vacation land, is the ninth least populated state in the US. Its rugged coastline, dense forests, and picturesque waterways make it a haven for nature lovers. But why does this scenic state have such a sparse population? Economically, Maine has experienced a slow population growth rate, with a current density of just 43.1 people per square mile. The state's economy is bolstered by sectors like healthcare, education, and tourism, but it faces challenges such as a moderate growth rate and a reliance on industries that don't always provide steady employment. Additionally, Maine's workforce is experiencing higher wage growth, particularly for lower wage jobs indicating a demand for labor that exceeds supply. Culturally, Maine is a state of contrasts, with a population that values both its scenic beauty and cultural heritage. It's a place where the arts and local food movements are celebrated and where community events bring residents together. However, the state's aging population and the outmigration of younger residents seeking more diverse opportunities elsewhere have contributed to its low population density. Despite these factors, Maine's quality of life, natural beauty, and unique cultural offerings continue to attract those seeking a quieter, more connected way of living. Number eight, Montana. Montana, known as Big Sky Country, is the eighth least populated state in the U.S. Its vast landscapes and sparse population give it a unique place in the tapestry of American life. But what keeps Montana's population so low despite its natural beauty? Economically, Montana has a moderate growth rate with a real GDP growth rate of 4.2 per year as of the third quarter of 2023. The state's economy is diverse with strengths in agriculture, tourism, and a growing tech. However, the job market can be challenging with an unemployment rate of 3.0 in November 2023. These economic factors contribute to the state's population trends as job availability and economic stability are key drivers for residency. Culturally, Montana offers a lifestyle deeply connected to nature and outdoor recreation. It's a state where residents take pride in their environment and enjoy activities like hiking, fishing, 
and skiing, the culture is also characterized by a strong sense of community and a slower pace of life, which can be appealing to those looking to escape the hustle of urban centers. Despite these attractions, Montana's population growth has slowed, with net migration into the state declining. This could be due to a variety of factors, including the cost of living, the availability of services, and the desire for more urban amenities. Additionally, Montana's population is aging, with projections indicating that by 2030, there will be more people over the age of 65 than under the age of 18. Number seven, Rhode Island. Rhode Island, the ocean state, may be the smallest in the United States, but it boasts a vibrant culture and lifestyle that belies its size. As the seventh least populated state, one might wonder why more people haven't discovered its charms. Economically, Rhode Island has faced challenges with a moderate growth rate and a reliance on industries such as healthcare, education, and manufacturing. The state has worked to surpass its pre-COVID economic peak with non-farm employment showing recovery signs by 2024. However, the expiration of federal funds and projected slower revenue growth present hurdles for the state's fiscal future. Culturally, Rhode Island is a tapestry of diversity, with events like the annual Heritage Festival celebrating the state's rich cultural heritage through art, music, and dance. The coastal lifestyle in cities like Newport offers residents and visitors a blend of historical architecture, seaside charm, and a robust coffee culture that dates back to the 18th century. Despite its economic and cultural vibrancy, Rhode Island's population growth has been modest. Factors such as the cost of living, the availability of jobs, and the state's small geographic size may influence people's decisions to move to or stay in Rhode Island. The state's population density is second only to New Jersey, which may limit its capacity for significant growth. Number six, Delaware. The first state is the sixth least populated state in the US. Despite its small size, Delaware is rich in history and culture, and it plays a significant role in the nation's economy due to its business-friendly laws. But what keeps Delaware's population relatively low? Economically, Delaware has a diverse economy with strengths in agriculture, manufacturing, and finance. The state is well known for its favorable corporate tax laws, which attract many businesses to incorporate there. However, the state's economic growth has been moderate, with a GDP growth rate of 3.2% per year as of the third quarter of 2023. This steady but not rapid growth may not draw large numbers of new residents. Culturally, Delaware offers a blend of urban and rural lifestyles with a rich array of historical sites, beaches, and cultural events that reflect its colonial heritage and contemporary diversity. The state's cultural scene is vibrant, with numerous festivals, museums, and historical attractions that celebrate its past and present. Despite these attractions, Delaware's population growth has been constrained by factors such as strict environmental land use regulations and challenges in the public education system, which have led to net domestic outmigration from areas like Newcastle County. These factors, combined with a higher unemployment rate compared to the national average at 4.2%, as of November 2023, may influence people's decisions to move to or remain in the state. Number five, South Dakota. Often celebrated for its iconic Mount Rushmore, stands as the fifth least populated state in the US. With its rolling prairies and the Badlands, it's a state that offers a stark beauty and a deep sense of history. But what are the reasons behind its sparse population? Economically, South Dakota has seen a steady growth rate, ranking 11th in the country, with a population inching towards 900,000 by 2024. The state's geographical features do not lend themselves to mass urban settlements, and a lack of diverse employment options has historically led to an exodus to other regions. However, recent trends show a surge in migration to South Dakota, possibly due to its low cost of living and high quality of life. Culturally, South Dakota boasts a rich tapestry of Norwegian heritage, with communities that celebrate their history and architecture. The state is also known for its cattle and beef industry, which is significant for the local economy. Pheasant hunting is a popular seasonal activity, drawing visitors from across the nation. Despite the challenges of rural flight and economic limitations, South Dakota's population is on track to top 1 million by 2030. 
Number four, North Dakota. The Peace Garden State stands as the fourth least populated state in the U.S. With its wide open prairies and deep agricultural roots, it's a state that embodies the spirit of the American heartland. But why does the state, with its rich soil and clear skies, remain so lightly treaded by the footsteps of America's populace? The answer lies in a blend of economic and cultural factors. North Dakota's economy has historically hinged on agriculture and energy, particularly oil extraction in the Bakken Formation. These industries have brought periods of significant growth, with the state's population reaching nearly 790,000 by 2024. However, the cyclical nature of these sectors can lead to economic instability, which may deter potential long-term residents. Culturally, North Dakota offers a lifestyle that is closely connected to the land and its seasons. The state's residents often boast a strong sense of community and a shared resilience against the harsh winters. North Dakota's small towns are beacons of cultural heritage, with events like the Norse Coast Fest celebrating the state's Scandinavian route. Yet, the rural nature of much of the state and the extreme weather conditions can be challenging for those accustomed to more temperate climates or urban conveniences. Despite these challenges, North Dakota continues to attract those who seek a quieter life away from the hustle and bustle of crowded cities. The state's efforts to build vibrant communities, cut taxes, and support economic development have led to a record number of residents enjoying a high quality of life. Number three, Alaska. Alaska, often referred to as the last frontier, is the third least populated state in the U.S. Despite its vast size, covering over 663,000 square miles, it's home to just over 731,000 people. But why does this breathtaking land, known for its majestic wildlife and natural beauty, have so few residents? The reasons are as diverse as the Alaskan landscape itself. The state's economy has traditionally been driven by oil, gas, and fishing industries, which offer boom or bust cycles rather than steady employment. This economic volatility, coupled with the high cost of living due to its remote location, makes Alaska a challenging place to settle down for the long term. Culturally, Alaska is a mosaic of indigenous heritage and modern American life. It's a place where you can experience the midnight sun, see the northern lights, and participate in the Iditarod sled dog race. The Alaskan lifestyle is one of resilience and self-reliance, with communities spread out across vast distances, often accessible only by plane or boat. Despite these challenges, Alaska's population is slowly growing, with new job opportunities emerging from big infrastructure projects and a growing tourism industry. The state's natural splendor continues to attract those seeking adventure and a connection with the wilderness. Number two, Vermont. Vermont, known for its picturesque landscapes and quaint small towns, is the second least populated state in the U.S. With a population of just over 640,000, it's a place where community and solitude go hand in hand. But why does Vermont remain so sparsely populated? The reasons are multifaceted. Vermont's economy is robust in certain sectors like agriculture, manufacturing, and tourism, but it lacks the diversity of larger states. The job market is stable, with a low unemployment rate of 2.1% as of November 2023. Yet the state's economic growth, at 3.9% per year, is lower than the U.S. overall. This slower growth rate can make it challenging to attract new residents, especially younger demographics looking for a wide array of career opportunities. The culture in Vermont is rich and unique, deeply rooted in environmental consciousness and a liberal ethos. It's a state where the arts flourish, local food movements thrive, and outdoor activities are abundant. Vermonters take pride in their state's green initiatives and progressive values. However, this lifestyle may not appeal to everyone, and the rural nature of the state means fewer urban amenities, which can be a deterrent for some. Despite these challenges, Vermont has its own allure. It's a state that offers a high quality of life, a strong sense of community, and a slower pace that many find appealing. Number one, Wyoming. The state where the Great Plains meet the Rocky Mountains is a land of rugged beauty and stark contrasts. With a population of just over half a million, it's the least populated state in the Union, offering vast open spaces that many have yet to call home. But what keeps Wyoming so sparsely populated? It's a combination of factors, from its challenging geography to its economic landscape. 
Wyoming's economy is unique, with a strong reliance on natural resources like coal, oil, and natural gas. The state has seen a healthy growth rate recently, but the boom and bust nature of the energy sector means that job stability can be as unpredictable as the weather. The lifestyle in Wyoming is deeply connected to the outdoors, with residents often embracing a rural, agricultural way of life. The state's culture is steeped in the values of the American West, where rodeos and festivals are a testament to its rich heritage. However, this lifestyle isn't for everyone, and the state's remote nature and lack of urban amenities may deter some from settling down here. Despite these challenges, there's a growing interest in Wyoming as a haven from the overcrowded and expensive cities. Its low taxes, outdoor recreation opportunities, and high-altitude living are drawing new residents looking for a different pace of life. And that's a wrap on our scenic journey through America's spacious states. If you've enjoyed this tranquil track and are curious for more, just visit our YouTube channel, Best Blocks. And don't forget to watch our previous video where we discuss about the 10 big but empty cities of America. And lastly, don't forget to hit that like button if you found these hidden havens as intriguing as we do. And subscribe to Best Blocks for more explorations into the fascinating, the forgotten, and the yet-to-be-discovered.